is the story of That Enough Bobby Axelrod. Now, because Bobby Rod was having his party today, so here I go with a story to find out. Bobby Axelrod was feeling a bit strange. He woke up early in the morning. Today is my party. I must invite my friends to give me presents. Let's go, said Bob, cried Bobby. Hello, said Wendy. It's my party tonight, Wendy. So, instead of just standing there, bring me a cake at four o'clock, said Bobby. Yoo-hoo, Bobby, said Lara. Stop that immediately, Lara. Instead of just singing all day, bring me a present at four o'clock. Today is my party, said Bobby. Axe has invited Chuck to come to his party too. And Spinner was also invited. It's my party tonight, so bring me a cake, okay? And you can stop making jokes at me, yelled Bobby. Where can they be? I hope they didn't forget my party, said Bobby. Bing dong! Ah, finally! shouted Bobby. Hello! said Evil Spinel. Oh no, not you, Evil Spinel. You weren't invited, said Bobby. I'm so happy to see you do! Now, look at this cake! Well done! Everything is bloodless, said Evil Spinel. <sighs> that does it. You can leave my house immediately, said Bobby crossly. Oh, okay. Goodbye, said Evil Spinel. After all the chaos, Bobby Axelrod was feeling a bit sad. After all, why do you have to be sad on your special day? Ah, here comes Peach. Why are you walking with your head down? Asked Peach. Because I'm so sad, said Bobby. And why are you sad? Asked Peach. Because my friends didn't come to Axe Capital for my party, said Bobby. Why didn't your friends come to your party? Asked Peach. Bobby doesn't know the answer to that question. Then he arrived at Spinel's garden. Oh, Axe, good to see you. Come in, come in. <laughs> Laughed Spinel. Bobby saw Chuck sleeping. Wake up, Chuck! It's a special day! Come on! yelled Bobby. All right, Ox, said Chuck crossly. Stop eating the cake, Wendy! You've got to share, said Bobby. The music stopped. That's enough, Bobby Axelrod! said Spinel crossly. What do you mean? asked Bobby crossly. Having a party is so fun to spend time with your friends and family. This is why you need to be happy. Do you understand, Bobby? Asked Spinel. Uh, yes. I think I do, said Bobby as he smiled. So Bobby Axelrod became less cross. He was happy again at his party. The end. And we hope you enjoyed the story of That's Enough Bobby Axelrod. Okay, well, that's it then. Well, for the time being, well, I'm going to say goodbye now and uh, I'll see you again soon.